Hello everyone, this is Professor Patterns. Now, Klein is great. However, using Klein with Anthropic Cloud 3.5 Sonnet, it does end up racking a lot of costs. Like for example here, I asked it to write some JavaScript code for a mini Flappy Bird game, and it almost cost me 30 cents to run this code. It wasn't even a huge code base, it's a pretty small code base. If I give it an entire repository or something, it's gonna add up a lot of that cost. So, as an alternative, I started to use Quend2 Coder Tools. What I did was I downloaded the weights of this model locally on my computer. So it's actually not sending an API request. It's all running locally in my computer. The only thing that changes is now in your settings, you would just change your API provider from Anthropic to Olama. That's it. You'll select your model ID as Quen 2.5 Coder Tools, and I'll go over the installation steps in later. For now, I just wanna show you how it runs. So I was able to give it the exact same task. Can you create a Flappy Bird game in JavaScript? It was able to go through all of the steps just fine, and it was also able to create this game. Now, the only sort of, I would say, flaw was the fact that it was a little bit longer to run. So usually if, when I run something like this with Cloud 3.5 Sonnet, it would have taken me around four to five minutes to run this. However, with this, it took me close to 13 minutes to run. So yes, the overall time was a little bit on the higher side. However, it was completely free to run. So how did I actually set this up? Well, the first thing that I needed to do was to download Olama. So if you don't have Olama downloaded, all you would do is just go to olama.com, which is available here, and then you'll simply download Olama. Once that's done, you go to models, and here you can search the one that says Quen 2.5 Coder Tools. And this is the one that I downloaded. Now there are different variants, so you would wanna pick the one that suits your GPU. Now because I have an NVIDIA 4090, I was able to select the 32 build parameter model. It's about 20 gigs to run, so it is a little bit beefier. Now all you would do is just simply run or open up your command prompt, and then simply you would just type in Olama, pull, and then the name of this model. So here is what I'm just gonna copy, and then go back to my command prompt, and there we go. So because I've already got this model downloaded, you can see that it's pretty much just gonna say success. So now that that's done, all you would do is on VS Code, change the model ID to whatever you just downloaded, and then that's it. So you should now be able to use uh, Quen 2.5 Coder Tools for your coding applications. The overall typical workflow that I would recommend is whenever you're working on a project, start off by using something like Quen 2.5, and then when you get to a point where it's a little bit too slow or it's not really going to be as accurate, that's when you can switch over to using something like Anthropic Cloud 3.5. That's it for this video. Thank you for tuning in and have a good rest of your day. Goodbye.